Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, I will be giving my review for the new Netflix film, Blonde. <sighs> Where to begin with this one? I am a fan of Marilyn Monroe. Um, so I was excited about this. Um, now, the runtime was a little intimidating. I'm not going to lie. I was afraid that it would drag too much. Um, but when I watched Elvis, Elvis had a very similar run time. And it didn't feel like it really dragged that much. So I thought, okay. Maybe this will be... I was hoping this would be as good as Elvis. Unfortunately, this film is a complete flop for me. Um, so much is wrong with this movie. Now, I know they took this movie from a book that was written. Um, and there is some factual stuff in the book or in the movie that we do know for certain things certain things happen like her mom being admitted or committed to a mental hospital um uh her time uh with joe dimaggio and, and arthur arthur miller i believe it was um the jfk stuff in here you know that that's kind of one of those, I don't know if it was really truly ever proven situations, but. Um, so, honestly, I don't even know where to start. I guess I'll start with the positive for this film, and there's because there's not many. I think Anya de Armas did a great job as Marilyn. Um, I think her acting was amazing. Yes, there was at least one scene that I noticed where she lost the accent and she was using her own voice and I don't think she ever really picked up on it that she was doing it because she never corrected it uh, during that scene. But it didn't hurt her performance for me personally. I think she's still done amazing because this role really called for a very emotional character, a very range, big range, and, uh, and well, <clears throat> somewhat of a big range. I ain't going to say a huge range because they never really showed any happiness for them. They showed some glimmers of it, but it never stayed consistent. It was mostly focused on the dark side of her life. Um, so, but she had that, had to portray that range of emotion, that little bit of happiness sometimes that fell back into the sadness and the, you know, the, the big dark side of her life. And uh, I think she did amazing. I think some, I think the scenes, not all the scenes, I thought some of the scenes were amazing, cinematography wise, amazing. Um, but others had issues. Um, and that's really my two biggest positives. What is the cinematography and uh, her performance. That's it. Um, I, I mean, she, look, she looked the part as good as anybody could. So, I think the costume design... I guess I could say costume design was really good, too. Um... But this movie has so many other issues that it overshadows a lot of that. Um, but I do want I like I do want to highlight some of the positives, obviously. But I guess to get into the mixed and negative stuff, this movie for me does drag. It has pacing issues. It has 
um, just times where I like I I paused the movie just to see how much longer I had left because I thought I got to be towards the end and I was only halfway through. So, you know, they draw the scenes out too much at times. And it's not just really, it's, it's not paced well, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> they do this stupid, unneeded thing where they go some scenes in color, some scenes in black and white. And there's no rhyme or reason to why we're transitioning. Because, you know, I can see if you were trying to do black and white for her really bad dark scenes... But the whole movie is pretty much that. There's barely any happiness in this movie. So, when you're doing this, it's not making sense. There's there's just no rhyme or reason. And <clears throat> it just takes away from the movie. Now, is some, of the, is some of the black and white sh scenes that were shot beautiful? Yes. Is some of the colored scenes that were shot beautiful? Yes. But it's just unneeded. Um, you look at some of the choices with the editing and stuff they did. There's a scene where she's like blowing kisses to her fans and she's saying, I love you all. And you see the guys, the guy fans, their mouths are like CG, very poorly CGI'd, wide or open for no reason. Like, I didn't understand why they did that. Um, there's a, there's a scene where Joe DiMaggio's character is going up the steps to confront Marilyn and he like swings around and the way they shot it just was really not or did not like it. it they tried to go artsy I think or something and it just did not work um scenes like that just throughout this film on multiple occasions where I just did not agree with the way they edited some of the scenes um I thought the 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 look through of her vagina when they're supposed to be doing the abortions when you're seeing out towards the doctor through her vagina that was that was unneeded in my opinion we didn't need that I don't know why they chose to do that that's that was not artsy that was just unneeded um <clears throat> Just the movie itself, it's just, it's in a way, towards the end especially, it gets to be more leaning towards disrespectful. And I know they were trying, I know they went off a book, I know this was supposed to be the darker side of her life. But what kind of capped this off as being very disrespectful is at the end of the movie, you, <clears throat> you basically get to see a version of her death scene. Um, you kind of know that's what we're signaling on. And I liked when they, like, I love the fact that they just, they showed her laying there, they sort of showed her almost like a another version of kind of like a we'll just say her spirit we'll just say like roll over and like hug the pillow and smile at the camera um, and then they sort of panned away and you they just show her feet hanging off the side of the bed for for just a couple minutes and then they slowly fade to black and I like that um, touch because you also in movies don't really get to see the death too much. I know you didn't really fully get to see him like an Elvis. You didn't get to see him die. They kind of cut before that. So that was a touch that I, a uh, part that I did I was fine with because I've always said I, I if you're going to do it, do it to the full extent. But then when we get to in credits, you know, usually they'll put, like, so-and-so died on blah, 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 and they'll put information at the end. They didn't do that with this one. 
they just cut straight to the end credits. And to me, and it may not be to everybody, but for me, that just was very disrespectful. You couldn't have gave her the same treatment in that aspect that you do all these others. Um, so, it just really hurt this film for me. All this together just really hurt this film. Um, and it's very, it sucks that it was this bad. Because I love Marilyn Monroe. I love uh, Anya de Armas' performance as her in this. You know, even with the the issue of her losing the accent. Um, I loved parts, of, you know, parts of the cinematography. I loved, you know, the costume design looked great. It's just everything else that I've stated. The pacing, the editing choices, the sort of what felt disrespectful, especially towards the end. And the fact that, you know, they make this movie... Where it's very, in my opinion, going to be hard to rewatch. This movie really is a one and done for me because I'm not going to want to sit here and watch what everything they showed us again. Whether it's you know, whether it was true stuff that happened, whether it was maybe stuff that happened. When you're just giving me and feeding me nothing but depressing horrible stuff in her life barely giving me giving us any kind of happiness to build off of like you get glimpse of glimpses of happiness here and there throughout the movie but it's just complete and total just horrible stuff it really makes it to where you're like yeah I mean, she couldn't even watch it because she didn't want to see the stuff that was going on in it so to do that you're really putting yourself into a situation where a lot of, in my opinion, I think a lot of people aren't going to aren't going to want to rewatch it, and it's not doing critically very well. I don't think, or even with fans, I don't think it's doing as good as they as people had hoped, because I know it received well in the beginning, but then once it came more worldwide, it started to lose its lose its amazingness if you want to call it lose the heat it had um so i don't think it's it's doing too well right now and i can definitely see why um you know this is almost three hours of stuff that i'm never going to want to see again i'm not going to say i wasted my time watching it just because i am a marilyn monroe fan now if i wasn't a marilyn monroe fan I could probably see some somebody saying I wasted my time, definitely, you know. But you know, I don't feel like I wasted my time. Um, but watching it, I think, you know, I definitely wished it was paced better to where it definitely felt like it moved quicker to where I it didn't feel like it was dragging out for three to four hours because to me it felt like a three or four hour movie when. It was only about two and a half ish. So, um, but overall, my final grade, I was at a two and a half at about the halfway mark. Once we got past that, once we got into that second half, it dropped to a two. And. Then at the once I got to the end and I felt that that they had kind of disrespected her with not giving her that acknowledgement at the end like they do everybody else, I dropped it to a one and a half. So I'm gonna give this a one and a half out of five. Um, it's not something I'll watch again. It's not something I would own if they decided to release it physically, which I don't see them doing, but. You know, I'm glad Anya de Armas got to play a character that she, uh, got to play a character of an actress that she loves. Um, that was probably a goal in her life to do that. 
or at least a dream for hers to do that, I would say. So, I'm glad she got to do it. I just wished it was in a better film. I wished it was in a better received film. Um, but, I believe that is everything for my review. So, please comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell, be notified for our videos, and we will see you all in the next one.